this is how we can transfer our WordPress from localhost to our free hosting. In this case, I will upload to 000 webhost. Usually, we have to finish our WordPress design, then after we are done, we can upload it online. To upload, we can use a plugin called Duplicator. So I will search for the plugin, add new. Search for Duplicator and one of the result is this one, Duplicator. Install it and then activate. Click activate. There is a new menu, Duplicator on your dashboard. Go to packages. Create new. Okay, you give it a name and then next. It will scan. Okay, if everything is good, then you can proceed. If it's not good, you have to fix it. Okay, the size is 114 meg uncompressed. That's my file size. Click build. Okay, wait for the process to be completed. Okay, uh, completed in 95 seconds. Download both files. And there will be a pop up allow. Okay, so I have downloaded the files. There are two files here yeah? one zip file in and one PHP file. The problem with 00, zero web host is the maximum file size for upload is 32 meg if you are using file manager so if you want to upload something bigger you have to use an FTP client okay so we'll be uploading using a different method which is using filezilla if you click go to your dashboard main page go to quick and then detail Okay, it will tell you that your file upload should use this setting, host is this, username is this, password, if you are not sure what is your password, you can quickly change your password. Okay, click change password if you forgot or not sure what is the password. Okay, so you can change your password. I'll be using FileZilla, so in FileZilla, you go to Site Manager. Okay, and then you have to create a new site, give it a name, for example, 000 web host, and then maybe your account, in my case it's my own account, okay, so this is just any name that suitable, okay, the important part is host, yeah, so to find out what is your host, you look at this setting, it says that the host name is this files dot zero zero webhost dot com. So I will copy the setting and then I will paste it here, and then the port number is twenty one, and then username is you follow the one shown in here. Uh, depends on your account. In my setting, it's Imran Vid, and password is your password. In my case, I put my password. Okay, then if everything goes well, you can connect. Okay, so if you are connected, you will see uh, this is the log. Uh, it will say that you are logged in. If you have, if you, if you, if you are disconnected, uh, you'll get uh, error. Yeah. So here it says error fail. Okay, so. Uh, if you are if you are having an error, just disconnect and then uh, try to change the setting here again. Site manager, 
check whether it's uh, password error or something else okay so double check here file port number is 21 and then connect okay if everything goes well you get the list of your files here is the same as whatever you see in file manager okay so public html is where you should uh, put your files these are my previous files from my previous exercise previously we upload using file manager we drag and drop to our dashboard but now the file size to install your wordpress is for example mine is 67 meg around that size 67 meg so i will create a new folder under public html i make a right click uh, and then create the directory maybe uh, my new project is for video uh, the easiest is uh, okay all lowercase no spaces here so uh, the folder must be placed under public underscore html yeah so here is a new directory video under the folder video okay check mine is public underscore html slash video under video i will upload the file dot php drag and drop and the file uh, the zip file okay the zip file and the php file are the files that we got from the duplicator plugin okay so uh, this will be slightly longer because it's a very large file so if you if you get close connection okay um, okay so uh, if you get close connection you have to retry in my case i have successfully uploaded installer and the zip file okay the uh, file installer make sure there is no space in the file name i will rename this because my file name is installer there's a space there and then there is a special symbol uh, the bracket bracket is special symbol so rename it to installer.php only at the remote side yeah so the remote side installer.php done okay once you are done uh, the url of your website for wordpress okay if i check um, my url previously is current website is running here imran with 00 web host app.com so this is my previous website uh, my new website wordpress is uh, slash uh, whatever folder that you gave just now the folder name my mine is video so you get this warning don't worry okay details every time you get this morning just uh, go to the details and then uh, click the last link visit this unsafe site okay then you'll get to see this uh, php and zip file okay exactly like the one that we have uploaded we have uploaded installer and the zip file okay the location is in video so that's why the url is slash video so in order to install we have to click installer.php you will get similar question like when you install wordpress in your local host where the question includes the name of database username and password so we can create the database using your dashboard in 000 web host you go to database manager and you click new database okay give it a nice name no spaces uh, okay uh, database username okay i use the same video okay then password uh, it says must be different okay video one video
too short okay think of uh, suitable password okay the password have a lot of restriction so i use i use the randomize option since the password is too long uh, i will put it somewhere here okay so this one we need to to pick somewhere first database is video i use the uh, database username is video one and password i use the randomize option okay uh, sorry i did not click save just now okay create now you look at the output uh, it is slightly different from what we have key in because now the database name is uh, slightly different and the username is also slightly different so we will use this information in our installation here okay so just now it asks for uh, database name look here database name is this so i copy and paste it here okay database username it's video one but there's an id in front okay so i will put here in user and the password is this one i use the randomized function right okay then we need to validate if everything goes well you can proceed otherwise you have to check your username and password and database name it's all here okay under database manager you have to create new, new database next i have read and accept and then you go to next okay and then it will extract we we'll wait the extraction and then uh, it will install okay uh, it looks good it says that after you are done the last step is to leave the installer file the installer files are these two php and the zip file okay so now if you refresh make a right click and then refresh you'll see that uh, a lot of subfolder are created okay so previously there was only two files the zip and the php after we done with the installation uh, it will create all it will recreate our wordpress structure online okay so i will go to my admin and see whether i can log in or not okay the website is whatever your host name until slash here only okay so if you want to log in wp login okay so my website now i'll see this deceptive side ahead details and then i will proceed okay so now my website is currently running online and it looks exactly the same as whatever i've got in my local host so this is the online version the local host version is the one i have did here okay if everything goes well uh, it looks exactly the same as like except if you are using free hosting like this you'll get dangerous indication here right so if you forgot your password for uh, this one uh, i already teach you how to reset your password using php my admin okay that's all thank you very much